And hello everybody and welcome to the first day of the five day AI challenge. I am so excited to have you here with us. Thank you for joining this event. Thank you for being part of the community and for being uh, part of this journey that we're going to be on because the one thing that I promise you from this particular event is that it's going to revolutionize your business. What I need you to do over the next five days is to watch all of these sessions. We're going to be starting off with a roughly around about 10 to 15 minute session every single day and that's going to give you crucial information. Make sure that you watch it from the start to the finish and uh, at the end of it, you're going to get a task to do. That task will take you between five and 10 minutes. It's optional to do it, but if you want to get the most out of all of this, then you'll do those tasks because those tasks are all relative to your particular business. Now, um, later on in the day, we'll also do a live session. This is a session where you'll be able to participate and interact with other people and I'll be uh, presenting live. And you'll be able to ask me questions on the fly. We'll review what we did during the day and uh, when you guys can ask any questions. Um, this is all recorded in one take as well. So just bear with me um, if there are any errors or blips or blops, but we have done an awful lot of preparation to make sure that the content is going to just blow you away. Now, if you are watching this live, if you could just put a comment in there below just saying I'm watching and that gives me an idea of who's actually engaged and who's watching the content. I want you to post every single day. If you are watching, as soon as you watch the session, let me know below that you've watched it. And at the end, at the end of the five days, the person or the people that have watched the most number of days will go into a pool out of that pool, will pull a name out of the hat and one of you will, will, will win a spot prize. There will be spot prizes during the live presentations as well, as well, so make sure you attend those. The spot prizes are from our partners and from people that I really like within the industry who are giving away some of their technology, their uh, training material, their books, and that sort of thing. Now, folks, you've come here to talk about uh, AI and to understand more about AI. And of course, it's changing the world that we live in right now. Um, for those of you that have already played around with ChatGPT, that's the tool that we're gonna be using. Fantastic, I'm glad that you've already got a head start. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this tool and really specifically create some uh, architecture and some framework for you um, to use it within the business. We're gonna look at things like search engine optimization. We're gonna look at your site titles and your descriptions. We're going to look at um, uh, the sorry the property titles and the descriptions. We're also going to look at creating a lead magnet. We're going to show you how to do all uh, a social media plan as well. So we're going to give you 30 days worth of content using AI. And the one big thing is, is this is all about saving you time, effort and money. And I can promise you, once you do this particular five day challenge, you will never look back at life the same way again. Um, Folks, this is a free event. Uh, I'm Bart Sobies. I run iBooked Online. We are a direct booking platform. We get huge amounts of direct bookings for our clients. We've done multi-million dollars worth of sales uh, in terms of orders, in terms of bookings. Um, really, if you do want to get a direct booking website, then make sure you get in touch. That's my only pitch for today. Um, folks, let's get straight into it. What I'm going to show you today is the tools that you need to get yourself set up. Today is more of a setup day. We're going to get you using ChatGPT and give you some inspiration and some ideas. So without further ado, let me just switch my screens up. So the tool that we're gonna be using is called ChatGPT. You've probably definitely heard about it in the media, which is fantastic. And you will know that there's reasons why people are going crazy about it. Even if you've already used this tool yourself, you're gonna find this training particularly useful because what we're going to do is we're gonna show to you how to use it practically in your accommodation business, from doing your social media to absolutely everything else. Now, um, let's get you into ChatGPT. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a Google search for ChatGPT, it's gonna pop up, it's called openai.com. I'll take you to this website. Once you're on this website, what I would like you to do is to sign up and get yourself going. So we're gonna press try and then off we go. Now, one thing that you might find is that as you get to this particular step, it's going to fail on you. It's gonna say, hey, service is unavailable. It is not working very well at all. Don't worry, I have a workaround for you. What you're going to do is you're going to do uh, chat GPT and you're gonna put in another word, which is playground. 
And the playground is the beta part of it. The playground is the area where people do lots of testing and development work. And you can click on that, you can jump in, and this is the other way to get around it so that you can start using the tool if it isn't working for you in the other way. So then you could go in here and you could start to ask questions. Uh, hi, chat GPT, how are you today? I'm doing great, thank you, how about you? And so on and so forth, so you can have a chat with ChatGPT if you like. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a few things. One thing that I promised in my adverts that I'll show you that it can sh that it can give you tips and ideas on how to make your dinner. So let's say that we have, uh, hi, I have leftover chicken and sweet corn in the fridge, as well as many vegetables. What can I make for dinner? And what this tool does is it scoured the internet for billions and billions of pages and got all the content and stitched it all together. The way that it works, it works very similar to predictive text or if you've ever been on LinkedIn and they give you answers to a question. So someone sends you a message and then you've already got an answer saying, hey, yep, that sounds good and that sounds great. What it's doing is it's predicting the response. So it comes up with that first part of it and it says, based on the information that I have, I predict that the response which is needed is gonna be this one. So all it's actually doing is using mathematical equations to come up with the answers. That's how the AI actually works. Now, I'm not gonna go into the details of all the ins and outs and the back end of all of that. What I'm gonna be doing is giving you practical tips on how you can use this tool in your business. So uh, we can cook a stir fry with sweet corn and vegetables. You can saute the chicken in a pan, some oil, desired seasoning, noodles. Another option would be chicken sweet corn soup. Fantastic. Uh, what about if it is for kids? If you're making dinner for kids, you can make chicken sweet quesadillas. So now it's giving you another idea for children. Fantastic. Uh, what if I wanted a lunch the following day? What other ingredients could I add? You get the idea. So this is a tool that you start to ask questions and the real secret to it all is to iterate on those questions and to improve on them to make them better. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you a few things that you can use in your particular business to start to build up a bit of a profile, to start to build everything up. There are two pieces that you're going to need for this particular challenge. This is one of the next tips. If you type in doc.new, going to have a word doc in here I want you to put in ibook.online's five day AI challenge and then here we're going to put in day one introduction and then we're going to put in task over here you're going to set up another one which is sheet.new and this is a really quick way. It only works in Chrome. It's a quick way to generate a new sheet and to generate a new document. You can do it with forms as well. Uh, and then we're gonna put that here. And now we've got a sheet. The sheet's gonna come in much later in the, uh, in the challenge, but it's gonna be super useful to you. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We're going to start to use ChatGPT to give us some information about our accommodation and our property. What I've done is I've got a few example properties from the group, so it's super practical. Um, one place that I've chosen is Peg's Place, that's in South Australia, it's a farm. The other place is The Hive. Uh, the Hive is a bed and breakfast in Northwich um, in the UK, and I'm going to uh, to use it for, for some, some demos for you. Um, and then the last one that I've got is Rainella. Rainella is one of our clients, it's one of our longest standing clients that we've had for many, many years. And the reason why I like Rainella is because we've done phenomenal work for their SEO and we've really uh, got them quite high up and they're 100% book direct now through a lot of the work and effort that we put in. So that's gonna be super useful for you to see how we did that and things that we've done. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to uh, Peg's place and we're gonna have a look at where it is and it's in Port Victoria in South Australia. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into here, I'm gonna go 
Hey, chat, GPT. You don't even have to be polite. But if you want to be polite, you can. Um, can you please tell me of all the reasons to visit Port, uh, Port Victoria, South Australia? So we go back here to visit Port Victoria, South Australia. So now it's giving us a list of all the top reasons to visit this particular location. So if you're a property manager and you're bringing in new properties and new areas that you're not familiar with, you're not familiar with the best things to do in that area, you can start off and start to put it in here and go, all right, great. What are the top ideas? What are the top things to do in these particular places? Food and drinks, festivals, history, beaches, so on and so forth. Let's have a look at what they can do at the at um, in Norwich in Cheshire. And we go back here and I'll actually, let's just change it up. So can you tell me the reason to visit and you can just change it here and I'll give you a new result. So the history, the nature, the canal walks and the shopping. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to do a little bit more of an advanced uh, query and we're going to use my friends at Raynell Packer Farms Day and we're going to start up with that. So uh, can you give me the reasons to stay at an alpaca farm stay in Australia? And here's where it gets really exciting because we're going to get that one answer and it's going to give us all those different reasons. Uh, you can ask it to give it in bullet points and numbers. You can also ask it to expand. So you can say, hey, you've given me two answers, three answers, four answers. Please give me 10 answers. Uh, so animal interactions, relaxation, education, outdoor activities. Uh, supporting the local economy. There's so many different things. And what we're going to do is our final question of today, which when then I'm going to wrap this up and tell you guys what your task is for the day. So I say, please um, improve the above, but put it into a context of a couple visiting an alpaca farm stay a couple in their 30s visiting an alpaca farm stay and what it's going to do is going to improve your results even more so therefore you're going to have far more content which you can use which is relevant for your particular business that you can put onto your website Imagine walking up the gentle hum to the gentle hum of alpacas grazing in the fields and spending the day getting up and close in person with these friendly gentle creature creatures. You and your partner can feed, pet, and even walk with the alpacas and learn about their care and breeding. It's absolutely insane what this tool can do. Folks, for your task for today, what I would like you to do is I would like you to get your particular location and pop it in to the search and then you're going to just go here and you're going to, oh, let's go back here. Oh. And then you're going to do that. What I then want you to do is I want you to take the top five things, which you think are the best parts about your property, put them into a short list and put them in the comments below. That should take you less than five minutes to do. And that is a wrap for today. I'll see you folks later on at the live session. I'm very excited for that. Thank you so much for joining this particular challenge. And so far, if you've got anything out of it, please make sure that you uh, share 
this challenge around. People can join late and they're still gonna get huge amounts of value out of it. Thank you so much and I'll catch you later on for the live session. Don't forget to show up because there will be spot prizes for you all. Take care, all for some of you.